Hey there! How many times have you heard someone say, If I had some scissors, I could cut things my way. But little do they know that it's so hard to find one pen in ten with scissors in its behind. Yes, that's uh, one of the lesser known Johnny Cash songs. And I was reminded of it when I received this pen in the mail. And the pen sent to me by Calvin of Mininch, Mininch, M I N I N C H, yes. Interesting pens. This is not a fountain pen, this is a ballpoint pen, but it has scissors. And I just know that there are people out there who think, I wish I had me a pair of scissors right now. Yeah? Hashtag boom! Now, having said that, I think this is actually a lot of fun. Is it a little gimmicky? Yes. Does it offer a lot of functionality? Yes. So, I think it's fun. I like these original designs. So, a very kind thank you to Calvin for sending me this pen. I am going to show the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, the X scissor pen. Ooh, the Exorcist. No, wait, that's, that's something else. Okay, so we have the company, Mininch, right? We, they make all sorts of funky pens, tool pens and, and different things. And no, those do, do not look like the Monteverdi tool pen. It's actually a very different concept. So I kind of like that. But here we have the egg scissor pen. Now let's, let's see what's in this box. Outer sleeve. And then we have the actual box. Which you open up and there's quite some stuff inside. First of all, a very useful, concise manual. How to put the refill in the pen, because as I said, it is a ballpoint, how to get the scissors out and how to use them, but also how to put the knife in, because yes, you can get this pen in a version with a knife blade, we'll come back to that. We have this two-part box, uh, I'm, uh, yes, I'm creating an, eno oh God, an enormous mess. I'm sorry, it's the first time I review a pen. Okay, I got this out. Now then, what's all this then? There's a pen, there is some accoutrement, to which I shall return in a second. Here's a piece of cardboard. And then there is a Lamy Safari, alright? The Lamy Safari. Let me zoom in for you. Boom! The wonders of modern technology. Now, as you can see, kind of Safari-esque in length, right? Uh, so, relatively comparable pen in size. Now, what makes this pen so special? You can get different versions of this pen. There is a silver variant, which is what I have here. There's also a black, which is Teflon coated. And then there is the standard package and the full package. The standard package will set you back $66, the full package $78. Now, what's the difference? The difference is that this, this like right here, whether it would be silver or black, would be the, the standard package. So what you get is <clears throat> One refill. It's a, I wrote that down because of course I don't know anything about ballpoints. It is a Schmidt Mini D1 refill, which I will say writes quite pleasantly. Actually, I'll show you that in a second. And of course, you get the blade, right? The 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 scissors, I should say, the scissors, right? So I'll come back to the scissors. But but then there is the full package, and the full package gives you more. Not only do you get this, the pen and the scissors, you get these. Oh. Disaster. You get these pieces as well as a little baggie of blades. Okay, now how does this work? I'm going to show you, but I'm not going to actually put a blade on because these are nicely sealed and I know that I will cut myself. All of this is going to be red. 911 will be involved. Know thyself. Okay, so section comes off. Okay, now you have to assemble this, which I have done before on like off camera. Let's see if I can reproduce that. Yes, I can. This screws on there. 
and you can open, see that, you can open that slit or close the slit depending on how you manipulate it. Okay. Boom! And then you can take one of those little blades, right, you slip that in. Now you have an art knife, basically exacto style uh, knife, right? But you can't have your cake and eat it too. You cannot have a pen and scissors and a knife, okay? If you want that, buy Victorinox, right? You will have this mini refill, right? Schmidt, slip it in there, take the section, slip it in there, screw it in, tighten it, done, okay? So that would be the full set. The website goes into detail as to whether you need the Teflon coated scissors or not. Depends a bit on what you're cutting. So you can look that up for your own uh, purpose. I will link to the website uh, in the post here. And that's pretty much it. So let's let's go over the, 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 the parts of this, this interesting object, the excisor pen, okay? Top of the cap, finial, nice same uh, stainless steel as the rest of the pen. It is heavy, it's, it's solid, it feels very nice in hand, I really like that. You have this clip, which is incredibly reflective, it's a mirror polish, which I think is very neat, it looks very cool, and it works, it, it works well as a clip. Okay, here we have the company name, Mininch, on the other side, nothing. Barrel, tapers down, cap, unscrews, little uncommon to have ball points that are capped, right? Typically that's a roller ball, but that's okay. And it posts. Now this is a solid piece. Uh, this I haven't weighed it yet, I'm sorry, but measurements will be on the website, including weight. But this is solid. It feels heavy. It almost feels like a tactical pen. In fact, I've used tactical pens that were lighter than this pen. So quite interesting. Don't get this if you want a light pen. It's not for you. Section. Very nice. Tapers down very smoothly comfortable to hold and this because the section is not super polished I don't find this particularly slippery I've been writing with it for quite a bit and I find it very very nice it's comfortable to to hold okay end of the barrel there's nothing but of course the trick is what's inside now the cap unscrews cleverly designed the barrel pulls off so you cannot accidentally unscrew something if you want to unscrew the other thing a quick sharp pull and you reveal the scissors. Now these scissors are I think designed pretty nicely because they lock in place and you can barely even see the lock but if you slide this out, you see that, then the scissors come out which I think is rather cool. Now the real question is, how well do these scissors work? Well, this is, I'm sorry Calvin, this is Calvin's note. Um, let's put the name to the test. I don't know, but these scissors cut. I hate having one of those cheap Swiss army knives. Let me just cut a strip and I'll, I'll cut out bits for you. Sorry about the noise, I'm so sorry. There we go. Um, I hate those cheap Swiss Army knives that you buy and then you have a pair of scissors that, that sucks and you, 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 you know, can't even cut a sheet of paper with it. But this is pretty sweet. What am I doing? Oh, I'm sorry. That was not the scissors fault. You see that? This has slid back a bit. Let me make sure that that's slid all the way up. See that? Cuts all the way through. I, I was just, uh, it was not cutting all the way to the end because I had slid this back a little bit and then I couldn't see the scissors don't close all the way. So if you pay attention, right, you can cut well with this. Are you going to cut magnificent things with this? I don't know. But what I will say is the scissors cut. I've used them with bits of string, I've used it with paper, I've used it with some different things, even thin cardboard. The scissors work. Spring loaded which is nice, makes them very easy to use. And once you're done, easy to lock back into place, barrel, boom. A child can do the laundry, as we would say in the Netherlands. So I had to take a sip of tea. In other words, it's very easy to use. There's a lot of potential here. 
and I really like it. So let's talk a bit more about what I like and what I don't like. But before we do that, let's have a quick look at how it writes. Now, this is a ballpoint, so I, I don't have to go through all my regular tests, I think, of, of um, uh, line variation, etc. Because, of course, that's impossible. But here we have the min-inch. Oh, did, did I spell that correctly? <laughs> I should start throwing the boxes out. X scissor, I think that's what it was. X scissors pen. Yeah, it's a ballpoint, but um, a nice one. Smooth refill. Of course, a relatively small refill, so this will, I'm assuming, not write as long as a full size refill would, but still. It's nice, and that, that heavy, that, 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 the fact that it's so heavy makes it very solid in hand, which I, I really enjoy. So, yeah, there's a lot of fun to be had with this. Now, let's talk about what I like and what I maybe don't like so much. All right, what do I like, what do I not like about the Min-Inch X Scissor pen? It's a pen with a pair of scissors. And here's the thing. Yes, it's gimmicky. It's gimmicky. There's no, there's nothing else I can say about it. It's gimmicky. It's a pen with a pair of scissors. But it's cool. It feels solid. This does not feel like a cheap product uh, that will fall apart. It's very solidly made. And yeah, it is a pair of scissors. It could come in useful. And you can use a little art knife Right, turn it into a little exacto, basically. Yeah? W what do you want me to say? It's a pen with a pair of scissors. And I know that there's going to be people, I'm thinking of the EDC community, that might very much enjoy this idea. You have a pen with a pair of scissors. You can put this in a little Maxpedition pouch, which, you know, might be lying around somewhere, right? And then you put in the pen. I'm just, I'm just demonstrating this. And then you, you put in the accessories. Give me one second here, because of course I'm going off script. All right, that's how I roll. I live on the edge. This is the only thing I can do. All right. Hashtag survival, hashtag EDC, hashtag boom. All right? You got the whole thing together. Now, you have a pen, you have scissors, you have knife blades. And I'm not actually trying to ridicule this multiple replaceable knife blades, they're not huge, you won't be able to baton wood with that, but you know what I mean. You have, you have several knife blades, you have a pen, you have scissors, I mean, you could be stuck with less on that deserted island, right? And again, I'm not trying to ridicule it, I think it's kind of cool. It's a nice tool to have in your car or in a bag or whatever, it's kind of fun. Added to that, the fact that this is such a solid piece, the ballpoint really writes well. I find it very comfortable. This is not for people who like lighter pens. That is absolutely certain. It is heavy. But it works. And the scissors too. They're not crap. Because my first thought was, yeah, it's probably not going to cut well. But they cut. They cut. So, <laughs> it really works. So it's pretty robust, right? Pretty solid piece. Things I don't like so much. Well, as I said, the, the issue with this mechanism, right? You can, as you are cutting, have the, the scissors kind of slide back a bit and you won't be able to cut fully anymore. But let's face it, if you are so desperate that you need this to cut for an hour straight, you probably have bigger problems than the scissors getting stuck a bit, right? I think the design is pretty solid. I think it works well. I enjoyed using it. I was skeptical. When I unpacked this, I thought, yeah, weird. But I've actually grown to love it quite a lot. Do I find myself using the scissors on an everyday basis? Absolutely not. Do I find myself using every single tool on my Swiss Army knife every day? Absolutely not. But it's nice to know that it's there, right? And given that it's a solid piece that is solidly made, I think it's pretty good. I also have to be honest, I think the price is not terrible. $78 for the full package with multiple, let me see if I can 
one, two, three, then five, six, seven. I think that's ten blades that are in here. But even if it's eight, sorry, I can't count them through the layers of plastic, but it looks like it's ten. Uh, that and the scissors and the pen, seventy-eight dollars. I don't think that's a terrible price. Again, especially given that it is solid. The tolerances are good. The pen feels like it's well made. It it doesn't feel like something you would pick up on eBay for two fifty, including shipping. You know, it it feels solid. So, I think it's very very neat. And I I again I've grown pretty fond of it in a short amount of time. Things I don't like about it so much. Well, not a lot. I'll be honest. It's cool. I was talking to a friend and I said what I really wish was that this was a fountain pen. And she said, yeah, where would you put the cartridge? Good thinking. Uh, not really possible, right? So this will stick to being a ballpoint. That's okay. What I would love to see, <coughs> min inch, <coughs> what I would love to see is this but with a little pen knife. And ideally, if you could make something with some sort of thing, something like a, like a Bosch T-shank, and you have a little knife blade you can put in, and you have a little saw you can put in, and you have a little metal saw that you could put in, we're in business. Now we're talking. I like this, but I think something like that would be cool. If you think that would also be cool, leave a comment so that Mininch can see what you would like to see in future pen designs. I was not asked to ask you that. But I think it would be nice for them to maybe get some input on future products because they're doing pretty interesting stuff. Okay, that's it. Calvin, thank you for sending me the pen. I appreciate it. Guys, I hope this was useful and um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.